Uh, hello. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at when a firm should operate or shut down when it's making an economic loss. So, if a firm is making an economic loss, that means its profits are less than zero. Should it operate? Should it shut down? Let's come up with a simple rule. The firm should operate if the profits from operating are greater than the profits from shutting down. The O here represents profit, represents operating. The S here represents shutting down. So pi is profit. Profits from operating greater than the profits from shutting down. By all means, you should continue to operate. So what are the profits from operating? Well, it's just your total revenues from operating minus your total costs from operating. And if that exceeds your total revenue from shutting down minus your total costs from shutting down, again, you should operate. Let's uh, decompose this a little bit further. Total cost is just variable cost um, and fixed cost. So if we subtract variable cost and fixed cost from total revenue, uh, we get a measure of profit. And now on the right hand side, a few things here. If you shut down, there is no revenue. So the total revenues are zero. You're not producing anything. And if you shut down, the only cost you're going to incur happens to be fixed cost. Your variable costs are going to be zero. You're not hiring workers or raw materials and things like that. So little algebra here, we can cancel the, the fixed cost, and we're left with the following expression. The firm should operate if the revenues minus the variable costs are positive, greater than zero, or another way of writing that. if your revenues are greater than your total variable costs. So this is the condition that a firm should use when deciding whether to operate or shut down if it's making an economic loss. This can be simplified to the following expression. Total revenues price times quantity. Total variable cost. Average variable cost times quantity. The two Q's cancel and you get price greater than average variable cost. Okay, these two conditions mean the same thing. Okay, so if your price per unit exceeds your variable cost per unit, then it means your revenues are greater than your variable cost and you should continue to operate. All right, so let's look at a graphical example. Here we're going to have a competitive firm. Competitive firm is a price taker, so its demand curve is perfectly elastic. It's perfectly elastic at the going market price at $10. This competitive firm has a marginal cost curve, looks something like this. And where marginal cost equals marginal revenue, we're going to call output uh, to equal 100. Average total cost for the firm, its per unit cost look like this. And anytime you see the average total cost curve lying completely above the demand curve, the competitive firm is making an economic loss. So we plug this 100 units of output into the average total cost curve, come across and we see that average total cost is fifteen dollars. So we could easily calculate that this firm is losing five hundred dollars. This firm's profit is min minus five hundred dollars. Every time it sells a unit it gets ten dollars but it costs a firm fifteen dollars to make a unit. This firm is losing five dollars a profit on each and every unit. Okay. How many units is it selling? 100. So it's losing $5 on, 100 on each and every one of those 100 units. So 5 times 100 means the firm is losing $500. Okay, so to kind of to summarize what's going on here so far, if the firm were to operate, Q is 100, total revenue is price times quantity, $1,000, just 10 times 100. Total cost is 15 times 100 or 
Let's get uh, some other cost uh, material in here. Let's get the firm's average variable cost. I'm going to throw in the firm's average variable cost curve, clutter up the diagram a little bit. And let's see what average variable cost is at 100 units. Plugging 100 into the average variable cost curve, we get, well, let's call that $8. That means total variable cost is 8 times 100, or $800. This also means that the firm's fixed cost, total fixed cost, is $700. How did I get that? Well, the difference between total cost and total variable cost is the amount of the firm's fixed cost. So 1500 minus 800 is $700. The firm's profit is total revenue minus total cost. As we said before, it's minus $500. So should this firm operator shut down? Well, the firm's total revenue exceeds the firm's total variable cost. So this firm is generating enough revenue to pay for its labor, to pay for its raw materials, to pay for its supplies. So it should continue to operate. Okay? If it shuts down, it won't be making a profit on these, uh, on these variable inputs, if you will. So it pays for the firm to operate. Another way we can quickly see that in the diagram, price is here, average variable cost is here. So price is above average variable cost. It pays to operate despite losing $500 per week, per month, whatever the time period is here. Now, just for the sake of uh, completeness, if this firm were to shut down, its output is zero, its total revenue is zero, its total variable cost is zero, but its total fixed costs don't go away. This firm is locked into the $700 fixed cost. This might be a weekly rental payment, for example. And so the firm's total cost is not zero. It's variable cost plus fixed cost. It is $700. So if the firm were to shut down, it would lose an amount equivalent to its fixed cost, or $700. It pays to operate. Okay, Operating, you only lose $500 a week. If you shut down, you lose $200 more. And notice what that $200 difference is. That $200 difference is the fact that we're sort of making an operating profit. Our revenues minus variable costs are positive. We're making $200 here. Okay. If we shut down, we're forgoing that uh, profit opportunity, so our losses are greater. All right, let's do another example. But this time, we're going to have a firm making an economic loss. And the firm will shut down. That's what will maximize, or I should say minimize, the firm's losses. So we got the firm's demand and marginal revenue curve. It's one and the same in perfect competition. Let's assume that the equilibrium price is $10. So a competitive firm is a price taker. It takes that as a given. The competitive firm doesn't set the price. Firm's marginal cost, the firm's average total cost, and the firm's average variable cost. So one clue here is that any time the average variable cost curve lies completely above the demand curve, not only is the firm making an economic loss, but the firm needs to shut down and not produce anything. So where MC equals MR, this would be 100. We'll plug that 100 into the average total cost curve and into the average variable cost curve. Price, average variable cost, average total cost. So here, average variable cost exceeds price. All right, we should shut down and produce nothing. Okay, but for completeness, let's say the firm were to operate. If the firm did operate, it would have total revenue of 1,000, 10 times 100. It'd have total cost of 1,500. 
average total cost times quantity. It would have total variable costs of 1,200, average variable cost times quantity. Its total fixed cost, the difference between 1,500 and 1,200, $300. Put some dollar signs here. The firm's profit by operating, minus $500. You're losing $5 a unit on 100 units, so you are incurring an economic loss equal to $500. Or, another way to think about it, your total revenue minus your total cost is minus 500. Well, can we do better if we were to shut down? And you'll see here the answer is yes. If we shut down, Q is zero, total revenue is zero, total variable cost is zero, total fixed costs don't go away, they are $300. Your total cost then is $300. So your profit is total revenue minus total cost minus $300. You, you lose less money shutting down in this example. Why? Well, if you operate, you can't even cover or pay for your variable inputs. You're generating $1,000 of sales revenue, but your labor costs, your material costs amount to $1,200. So you can't even pay, you're, you're losing money uh, on your variable inputs, you can't even pay for them. You can avoid that loss by shutting down. So the best thing here to do is indeed shut down. So just to recap then, the firm will shut down any time total revenue is less than total variable cost or price is less than average variable cost. I hope you found this video helpful.